怪。那个，喂喂，喂喂，喂，喂，喂。She can't hear. She can't hear some sounds, so she always tips her head from side to side to try to pick up any sounds that she can. She can hear certain tones, but if you yell, she can hear you. But she always tips her head from one side to the other, trying to pick up sounds around her because she was abused when I got her when she was a kitten. She was slammed on a car door, and she was missing the last third of her tail. She was pretty badly abused by her previous owner, so yeah, she was deaf when I got her. She was declogged when I got her. She was missing the last third of her tail, and she was not a very nice cat for about a year. But now she's a big sweetheart, huh? What do you want? No, that's so cute. Deeper passed out next to Chewy. Him in his tank on the end, this this end. And she went over and laid down next to him and fell asleep. She was watching him through the glass. Oh, she loves my snakes. There's Deefer and Chewy sucked out on the both both on the same end. She's on the love seat and Chewy's on this end of his tank next to her. Pretty cool. Hey, you sleeping with your buddy? You sleeping with your pal? Huh? You sleeping with Chewy? Yeah, we're sleeping next to your friend. Yeah, so yes, I'm going back to sleep next to Chewy too. You purring? You happy to have your snake out? Okay, <laughs> that's a happy cat. You happy to have your baby out? I hear a motor. We got. Just a spoiled rotten brat, that's what. So I'm a spoiled rotten brat. Thank you. You got your fingers crossed for, huh? Why oh, you got your fingers crossed? Huh? Oh, you're going to ignore me? Look up to B. Look up at Veronica. See, so Mama's talking to me. I'm going to ignore her because she's not holding me, Veronica is. Your <laughs> mother is very busy today. <laughs> One foot hanging out over here. <laughs> oh, she pulls it up. <laughs> Uh, look at that bushy tail. Look at that bushy tail. Her tail's so strange looking because it's missing the last third of it. It's awful bushy today. What's with the bushy tail? Huh? Look at the raccoon stripes on the end. Those are cool. I'm going to have to put you down. I'm going to start sneezing in a minute. You give Veronica allergy issues, Deefer, with your furball hair. It doesn't she help. She's shedding terrible. It doesn't help that I have forgotten to take my allergy pill every night I've been up Oh. Here. <laughs> she, uh, she's, uh, she usually doesn't shed like this this time of the year. She's already lost her winter coat. I don't know why she's shedding. I rubbed her last night and got a palm full of fur off of her. Time to go so, down. Oh, she oh, put me down. At, got look her. at the inside of my coat. You covered her. <laughs> She's covered with kitty hair. Oh, look at the foot go up. Pick me up. Pick me up. Can you pick me up?
I've seen it all. You're not a snake. What are you doing in the snake's coat? What are you doing in there? You watching YouTube? Huh? You watching YouTube? It's Jade. He's up there asleep. What? What's the matter? What's the matter? What? What's the matter, talker? Uh huh? She's trying to get me to go to bed. What's the matter? What? What's up? This is Deeper. She's 14 years old. She's my cat that plays with all my snakes. Well, not all of them. There are a couple of exceptions, but she was slammed in a car door as a kitten, and she's been deaf since she was a young cat. I got her one between the years of two and three, and when I first got her, she was really horrible, very bad-tempered. She attacked everybody that walked by her, but it took about a year before she came to me, and she would associate with people and start trusting them again. And she's, like I said, she's 14 years old. And she loves my snakes. And they get along beautifully. Only problem I have with them is she tries to mother them and bathe them and they're not too crazy about her scratchy tongue, but she's just the sweetest cat. No, she's just as good, a, she's just a beautiful animal. Can't beat her. Night right now she's sunbathing. Usually I have one of my ball pythons out and they'll curl up with her in the sun on the bed and they'll both sleep together. It's pretty cool. They do it quite often. But yeah, this is my snake cat. This is Deefer. 14 years old. She's losing her winter fur so she looks a little scruffy. Yeah, and she's got a new collar. See, Mom got me a new collar. Yes, she did. And it's got a cool bell on it. Uh, yeah, show me your collar. See, I got a new collar. It's got a bell. Yeah, See, I got a new collar. Total sweetheart. Yeah, See, I'm a good girl. I can't believe how people think cats are evil and how they think snakes are evil. And that leaves a lot of room for speculation as to their personalities and their emotional problems. Because they aren't evil animals. Neither one of them are. And it's really cool that mine get along as well as they do. And like I said, they have for 11 years out of her 14. She's gotten along with my two adult ball pythons just great. She gets along with Chewy and Chewy's 11 feet long. But that's Deefer. There's my Deef. You want to take a bath? You're not talking today? What? What? You're not going to talk today? She's part Siamese and part Tabby, and she's very vocal. She howls, and she goes to the cages at night and checks on my snakes. And sometimes I've had to get up in the middle of the night to take a snake out for her to bond with, so she'd be quiet so I could get some sleep. And she's just a sweetheart. I am. I'm a spoiled brat too. She loves everybody. I love everybody. Yes, I do. Say my name is Diefenbecker, but everybody calls me Diefer because it's shorter. She was named by my daughter Carla Jr. because she's deaf. And we call her Diefer.